My name is Tiffany. My birthday is August 25th. And the year? I'm um, 86. Okay. And how are you feeling this evening, Tiffany? I'm okay. I can't believe I got through. Yeah, you got through? Okay, that's good. So... You are a Virgo with a Taurus moon. Mercury is in Leo yeah. and Venus is in Libra. Wow. So, well, yeah. this is, let me tell you something wonderful. So things are moving around. Jupiter is in the sign of Virgo. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. That, happened yes. that happened yesterday. So let me just ask you, do you feel the flow of uh, opportunities coming your way? Do you feel them yet? Yeah. You do? In what way? Yeah. Tell me, in what um, way? Jupiter in a good way. Um, I have some good news for you. Wow, I wish I could take a picture of these. Yeah, wait a these minute. These pictures are beautiful. So you got the you got the Ace of Cups, which is the love cups. You got you got my sexual attraction card. Mm -hmm. You got a very tall man down here. But I have to ask you, did you just recently end a relationship? Yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> well, girl, you don't waste no time, do you? No. <laughs> Okay, so you really, I mean, that, I, listen, that is too funny, Virgo. You got rid of him yesterday and you're on the phone tonight, yesterday, right? I said, listen, I need to speak to Kim as soon as possible. So, well, let me say this to you. You must be a very sweet, attractive, and charismatic person because I see people coming in, into your life um, instantly. Do you have someone right now that you're talking to? No, no one other than the guy I just ended things with yesterday. Okay. No. You don't want him back, do you? I really like him. I really do. I really kind of feel like he could be the one. What's up? Like, I don't know. They they don't just sit down and turn themselves off. I, I don't know. Well, I'm going to say this to you. I do not see a Capricorn coming your way. I see a, a air sign coming your way. And you might need a little okay. breath of fresh air. <laughs> So anyway, let's see what happens. You're going to meet somebody before the end of summer, and it seems as though it's going to be wonderful. That's going to be another treat from Jupiter, okay? Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jupiter treat. That's very nice. <laughs> so, Virgo, please keep us informed, okay? Thanks, honey. Okay. All right. Thanks. Ready once you're done. Hello. Hello. You want to talk to Kim? Your name and your birthday. Yes. Go ahead. Your name and your birthday. Hello? Hello? Your name and your birthday? Yes, Kim, 62777. There we go. 627 Yes. And how are you feeling this evening, uh, Ann? I'm doing okay, you Okay, and I'm doing just fine. So let's see what's going on uh, with your planet. 627. That would make you a Cancer with a Scorpio moon. Did you know that? I knew, I knew up here, the, the Scorpio moon, I wasn't sure about that. And not only that, but your Mercury is in uh, Pisces, so, wow, you got all three of the water signs. Go ahead, oh, goodness. What does that mean, Kim? You got nurturing water, you got uh, uh, transformational water, and then you got deep water. <laughs> Whoa. Girl, do you have fins somewhere? Are you a fish, girl? <laughs> do you like to swim? Do no. you like to swim? <laughs> Are, are your favorite places the beach? Are you going to... Around the water? Just, <laughs> you like you sardines? I always like to get my feet in there, so I, it can be, but it's not, you know. Well, anyway, that makes you a very sensitive, cre uh, creative person, and also a very uh, good person at reading people, because you're very psychic. Oh. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. How are your dreams? You have very vivid dreams? I do. You dream the numbers? I, you know what? I used to dream of numbers. Um, lately, I've, I've been dreaming of things that are actually happening, like, or, or getting ready to happen more closer than um, before, like it would be maybe a month or two late, you know. So you have the gift of prophecy. You yeah. have the gift of prophecy. Your prophecy comes through your dreams. So keep a dream book uh, by your okay. bed. And if you get any lucky numbers, you know, call uh, Mark and I. That's right. Because we need to hit them numbers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. babe. So what is your question for me? 
Thank you. So, uh, at 8-2, you're born 8 two eighty, right? Yeah. You are a Leo with an Aries moon, and your Mercury is in Cancer. So you have a very protective personality. And a very, mm, and a very... Protective, like... Protective. Like I'm protective, or people are protective of me? No, you are protective of other people, and you're very generous. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of fire, a lot of excitement. You understand? Uh, yeah. Strong Did you person. Like time? No, I don't need your time. You have a very strong personality, too. Isn't that true? Oh, thank you. Uh, what kind of work do you do? Well, I recently just left my job, but I was a restaurant manager. I managed a lot of people, and it was for a very big company. Well, cancer is very good with food. So I, I, I know for a fact that you did a very good work because you were suited in that area. So did you like what you did for a living? No, I didn't like it, but I was very good at it. <laughs> I, was for, I was with the company for six years, and Put I like had 20 this. years of experience, right. but that's not what I wanted to do. If they didn't, if you didn't like it, nobody knew it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear, what, is you, what would you like to know? Well, I'm in the middle of transitioning in my life. I literally just got married a couple months ago, and I'm happy, but I'm in the middle of jobs, and I've always been a writer my entire life, and I'm just kind of concerned if I'm going to find something in that realm. Wow. Um, I wish I had a camera if I could show you these cards, because you do have a card of writing. And yeah, I've been writing since I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, there's a card of writing here, and it's headed into your future. The thing is, is that you get mad at yourself, and you talk yourself out of it. So do you have these conversations in your head all the time? I have conversations on my audio recorder every day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Just tell me you're not answering yourself back. Is it two separate voices, or is it the same well, voice? It's two separate voices. It sounds a little crazy, but it makes sense. because I think that you definitely have a talent here. I think that what's going to happen for you is going to happen next summer. You may want to try to get into some sort of writer's workshop. They have a lot of them. I know there's one in Sarah, Sarasota Springs, New York, that they have. Yeah, Sarah, Sarasota okay. Springs. So you may want to look for a writer's workshop and work on your talents, but I think that you definitely have a gift. All right, Kim, I, I see you doing it, Kim. You're calling people out, giving them their gifts. Another exciting show tonight. So, Kim, anything else we need to know about, you know, the moons as we wrap it up tonight? Well, the interesting thing is that Jupiter is in Virgo. And what it means is that uh, we're going to refine our gifts. It's about refinement. And since Jupiter is about making something better and Virgo is working health, we're going to start taking more care of our health mm. and looking for better jobs. Go ahead, Kim. And, you know, you're speaking of that.